Oh boy. Hey, nerds. I hope you're ready for a new banner. I haven't seen who's involved yet. I think I saw one person and I'm kind of interested. So uh, I brought my mouse along and we're going to take a look and see what's there. Alrighty. I'm ready. Doesn't seem to be a game theme yet. Usually they throw the introductory thing in there. Okay, no, just straight into characters. A blow to the head from a big tome is no joke, let me tell you. Oh! Okay, Morgan's here. Not only that, but she's on a... She's on a... <laughs> a Pegasus. She's a flying tome unit, thank God. We finally have one that's normal and actually going to be added to the pool. Blair Serpent. Uh, Blair Serpent, I'm not sure what you could call that. Grants defense and res plus six during combat if foe initiates combat using bow, dagger, magic, or staff. Distant defense and tome form? Okay, sure, I'll, uh, why not? Iceberg, pretty sta uh, stationary stuff. Uh, stationary? Pretty pretty standard stuff. Uh, mirror stance 2. Grants attack and res plus 4 during combat if foe initiates combat. Okay. And then, of course, we have guard and attack ploy. All very great skills. And, of course, since I'm seeing a very big res kick here, I'm expecting this unit to have a lot of res. Just because Mirror Stance and, of course, you know, Blair Serpent. I'm wondering how much she's going to blow this poor Red Tome unit up for, but is he attacking too? Oh, even better. Wait till you see this. 36, and that changes into 57. That's a pretty sizable increase. Okay. Lad from afar. Watching your tactical style. Oh, of course. It's also Morgan. Sure! Okay, Green was Truth. Grants defense plus three. During combat, if units attacked, uh, inflicts attack and speed minus five on target and foes within two spaces of target. Through their next actions and grants attack and speed plus five to unit and allies within uh, two spaces for one turn. Oh, sure. Okay, sure. Green was Truth. Oh, all right, I'll just... I... That... That's... Uh, <laughs> It reminds me a lot of Soth when he came out. A lot about Soth. Uh, Dull Range 3. We're, we're going to skip Dragon for, you know, Fang. Uh, if foes, foe uses bow, dagger, magic, or staff, neutralizes foe's bonus. Okay, so fortify, hones, and all that other stuff. Nothing too crazy. And then, of course, Spur, Defense, and Res 2. Huh. All in all, that's a pretty sizable... I'm, I'm wondering how he's going to work in... Uh, is he going to be a good baiting target with that kind of skill? This is going to be crazy. Having plus three defense is pretty cool. Oh, Knight Exalt. I knew it. It's Krom, isn't it? Yes. All right. Hi, Krom. How you doing? Of course, you're against a dragon unit. Sealed Falchion. Okay. If HP is less than 100% at the start of combat. Grants attack, speed, defense, res, uh, plus five during combat. Sure, okay. Aether, good. Um, Fury, three. Sure, why not? Um, chill defense, three. And the start of turn inflicts plus, you know, plus minus seven defense on foe on the enemy team. Uh, I mean, blah, on foe on the enemy team with the highest defense through its next actions. My god, I'm... <laughs> this is crazy. And of course, Sword Valor 3 as well. If unit survives, all swords uh, units uh, gain, uh, you know, plus, times 2 SP, which is nice to have another one. Shame it's another uh, Sword Valor. Could use some other ones, but I'm not complaining. And we got a new Falchion as well. All right. Aether. He's, be <laughs> He's being helpful, friends. The true quarry. Okay, uh, Krom is here, and all this other fun stuff, huh? It's cool to see Morgan. Both Morgans, of course. Now, let's see. Oh, 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 well, we still... Oh, Jerome's there! I see you, Jerome! I see you. I know you're there. Does that mean we're probably going to get a, uh, yeah, that's Jerome. I'm almost certain of it. Yep, there's the mask. Oh, probably our next, uh... Tempest Trial Unit right there, so also included, of course, is uh, Levitain's sister, because why not? So let's go over everything real quick and, uh, you know, make make sure some nice things are coming along. All right, so last from afar, of course, Morgan, going to be a very fun unit to look at and see how well this is going to work. I'm not sure, you know, <laughs> with the flying unit, there tends to be a lot of res, and of course, this is built towards that. Very, very nice. Also has mirror stance, meaning that, uh, of course, that builds up even more to the whole, hey, I'm going to be a res tank kind of thing. A flying tome unit that, of course, has access to the normal pool is always great. 
Guard 3 is nice, Attack Ploy 3 is even better, especially since we already know this is going to be a pretty competent Tome unit. Um, all in all, I'm really excited for her. She looks great. She, they, both artists uh, who did this did, uh, you know, the Morgan. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Morgan. Uh, bo both of the artists here are the same person is what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. Lad from afar, also I'm Morgan, of course. Tactical style. And let me just say... Very interesting abilities. Uh, I'm not sure about the B passive too much when it comes down to it. I mean, that's nice to be able to remove the bonuses that come from this, but uh, we're going to have to wait and see how far that's going to go. Greenless Truth seems really fun. Seems like a great one to have. Um, <laughs> as long as he's attacking, that means he's going to be providing debuffs for foes in the other team and providing buffs that are really sizable, especially in attack and speed to his teammates, which is just ridiculous. All in all, a very strong red tome unit, which is something we actually needed um, that wasn't seasonal as well. So good on them for aiming on that as well. I'm really excited to see it. I'm really happy to see Morgan and of course, Morgan. <laughs> Both both brought into this. I know a lot of you have been waiting for her or him in the last bit here, so I'm really excited to see how well this goes. Um, Green Miss Truth, of course, very nice, dual ranged, pretty interesting. And of course, Spur Defense and Res 2 is not bad either. Now we need to talk about our good friend Krom, who of course has Aether, of course has Fury. So this is going to be a very odd one um, because by the looks of it, well, uh, the HP needs to be lower than, uh, you know, 100% at the start of combat to gain the additional effects. But that's probably a lot better than a lot of the other abilities that uh, <laughs> that we've seen that have basically been, oh, you need to have it at 100% health. Means that at least it'll be a bit nicer. Not only that, but he has Fury, which will automatically trigger into that, which is, God, that's fantastic. Um... <laughs> From there, chill defense is a nice thing to have, I will say. Very cool. And I forgot to check as well, real quick, since we're here. Ah, I didn't even... Different... Okay, yes, he is a cavalier. That just adds even more. We really... Another cavalier sword unit. My goodness. Um, I, I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that Sword Valor 3 is there, just because, honestly, we already have another one, but at least... By the looks of it, this one's going to be attached to a fantastic unit. Not that Gray is not, you know, great, but uh, he's he's he could definitely go. He's going to he's going to be definitely having a run for his money when it comes to this unit. Krom looks like a lot of fun, but there are a few things we need to, you know, just see. I, I want to see how much damage Aether did here. I'm being helpful. He's being helpful. That did 98 damage. Holy crap. OK, of course, that was against a dragon. That's right, uh, you dragons have another character to worry about when it comes to dealing with, uh, you know, Falchion users. We have another Falchion user, and of course, I just want to point out that uh, these units are going to be added to the game after they are done. I'm wondering who's going to fall from the fallen one, but uh, before we continue real quick, let me just point this out again real quick. I'm sure you noticed it, but Jerome is right there as well, so... Uh, we do have at least another Tempest Trial by the looks of it coming, and that makes sense. Another child unit would be featured in this one. Um, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. This is going to be really interesting to see. Um, honestly, if it were for me, I'm probably going to go. I, I really want another strong red tome unit, so I'm going to prioritize Morgan if I were to roll and then probably move on to Krom, and then also, you know, Morgan. They all look pretty fantastic. A normal flying unit, a normal... You guys get to have Morgan. Tons and tons of Morgan for you, why not? Ah, oh, man. We'll be seeing their stats tomorrow, along with a lot of other stuff, but I hope you're excited for them. Personally, I love their art, both of their art, um, when it comes to <laughs> Morgan. Hey, did Toby do the other one too? Let me just make sure. I think he may have. Combat. Nope. Okay, no, that was Yamada, actually. All right. Uh, <laughs> makes sense. He looks really good, too. Oh, God, I love all of the art. Oh, it's just so exciting. I'm hoping... I, I'm, I'm really hoping Jerome's cool, too. I mean, if he's a Tempest Trial, I think that's the first green Tempest Trial unit we've ever gotten. That's going to be exciting. God, there's so much to talk about, so much to look over. <sighs> Man, I'm, I'm really hoping... 
that things are going to go great. <laughs> uh, well, there you guys go. Your banner all set to go. I'm calling it a night. Good night. See you soon.